what's up guys and today I am unboxing the Celestron Power Seeker 127 EQ telescope I got this on Amazon I paid about a 150 for it hoping I can, I can get good shots or um, good sighting of the moon and, and the planets and all that kind of stuff and my daughter can really be included in that too um, this includes two eyepieces um, it says it, com it comes with a bonus um, astronomy software download easy to assemble um, so let's go ahead and open this up this came in a booklet that came in the box there is um, the bonus CD that they're talking about and we're gonna leave the instruction because I don't know nothing about um, putting those things together so pull this out here we go so here she is pretty pretty big so what should be the mount in here there's some some screws in here and I pretty heavy pretty heavy lots of goodies oh something fell here's your wheels to adjust your adjusting wheels to move it around uh, the tripod I'm guessing like every other tripod you're gonna open it up mounted up last night um, I got it working. I got it working. I spent about I spent a few hours trying to get it where I wanted it. Um, if you look right on here, I mean it lights. I did spend the night last night mounting this up. It took me a few hours to get it where I wanted it. Um, at the end of it all, I found that it was upside down. Like when you when you're looking at, I was trying to watch buildings a few miles away over there, and I realized this telescope is actually to watch up there and not over there so everything was being seen upside down I went online I googled it it made it seem like you couldn't get that telescope to get whatever you look at the object right side up but I played around with it and I move it around and move it around and the more I move it is in why I see the buildings start getting where they supposed to be. I can put my, my, my phone on there, my smartphone on there. My Note 8 fit perfect on there because the camera is just at the right spot and I could see some things. Because what I observed is that when I was looking through the hole here, when I was looking through, when I was looking through here in my naked eye, I got kind of, kind of seasick, kind of, like I felt nauseous. So I got the camera on there and that seemed to work. So tonight, for some reason, for the past two nights, it's just been cloudy. Oh, that's a plane, that's a UFO up there. I don't know what it is, so it's a UFO. Yeah, I got this, it's, it, it's, it's super duper. I mean, just check out this baby right there. Check how big that is. There's a huge mirror inside of there right in there this is this is like an empty shell i think I, like i could build one of those myself um this is a spot telescope right here so you can find what you're looking for with this first and then followed by this here and here we have a bunch of lenses down there or weight is on there but let's see what happened tonight let's see let's see what we can see tonight probably we can look on the moon and see the man on the moon who knows but first, I need to get a beer.